What's going on, guys? It's your boy. TMXA Surge. I'm here, um, making my weekly video. Um, this is just a PUBG game. I'm just, uh, playing it. Just kind of, uh, so it was a pretty good game. And speaking of PUBG, you know, I've been getting pretty good at it. Like, I don't want to brag. Like, I'm not, I'm not very, like, I'm not outstanding or anything, but I'm learning how to win gunfights, and that's the key of PUBG when you boil it down. Like, you can hide from everyone. You can stay as far away and get the best loot, but if you can't win a gunfight, it uh, you're, you're not going to get far. I mean, the best you can do without winning a gunfight is top two, and <laughs> that's good, but that's pretty rare, obviously. So, um, yeah. This video, I just, um, I'm kind of running out of ideas for content, and I really just wanted to talk about, um, ideas I have, ask you guys for ideas, I know, like, I know most of you know me personally, but, um, I don't know how many viewers I have that actually don't know me, but, um, you know, like, I'd like to get perspective from both, and, uh, okay, so, I've, Obviously, I obviously can keep making the Road to CWL series, or I can continue the Rambo series, or I could do things like that, but, um, making those videos every, every week gets boring to me, and I worry that, that, that feeling of getting bored is translating, um, out to the viewers, so I really don't want that to happen, so I'm trying my best to come up with some good content and I I'm thinking about getting a new mic and I, I'm going to have to I mean this one's not like it, it's fine the HyperX is fine and um the mic I'm on right now isn't that mic so this is my PC mic the mic I play on Xbox was my Xbox mic but um I I want to get a mic where you can be plugged in your Xbox and PC so that you can here you can hear my friends um and then in those videos i think it'll be easier to think of content because it'll be whoever i'm playing with stuff like that so you know i guess we'll see but that would be good because you know like i feel like when i make videos one on one me with uh the audience with the viewers i get too serious sometimes and i i don't i'm down i don't act like as much like myself because I, I don't want it to I don't want to do something I mean I guess I don't want to do something stupid is the best way to put it so I try to act like professional but when I if I played with my friends I would be more like myself and I think myself is funnier than the person you see on some of my videos like my solo videos so I'm going to make an effort to fix um that when i get the mic so yeah i guess we'll see um types of ideas and things like that i mean we'll have to see but um you know i got friends that play different games and that could actually work out well so and maybe i could do a series with someone stuff like that um <clears throat> something else i want to talk about is uh my high school has a uh, esports club or esports team, so we all filled out a form on what games we want to play competitively. And after the survey, we've got all these different games. I signed up for Call of Duty um, and Smite, and then other games where I thought like I'm not too good at them, but I'd be willing to learn. I put PUBG down, I put Rocket League down, I put Overwatch down. You know, all three of those games, um, the last ones I I listed are probably going to be competitively played on PC along with Smite. So that means that there's going to be a, a, a great learning curve, a large learning curve that I'm going to have to overcome or use controller on PC, which maybe for Smite, but for PUBG, for Overwatch, for Rocket League, I, I think you need to on keyboard so that's going to be difficult especially because other than the mic I probably am going to need a new PC soon and the thing 
about that is like I'm I'm fine <coughs> with uh, playing on console. Like I like playing on console, and I feel like console doesn't get enough credit. But here's uh, the thing, you know, if um, I want to make more videos, this is going back to my point uh, earlier. Oh, hold on. <laughs> so, um, my point earlier, I was talking about how uh, I'm making videos and content, that type of thing. And um, if I get a new PC, that will open more things up for me as well. Uh, the reason I haven't started doing the face cam videos anymore is because to have the stream deck to enable the face cam, I need a faster PC. I can do it, but then when I export the video out it takes like four times the the length of the actual video which is really difficult so I'm trying to fix that um yeah so um with with the esports thing at my school sorry I'm kind of jumping over over the place with uh, my thoughts here but um like with my friends playing different games and pl playing competitively with different games that will probably form like, you know, n bonds between me and my friends in a certain game, right? And in doing that, once I get the new mic, start making videos, um, we can actually all play together in a video, that type of thing. So that's actually very good. And then that will also be like incentive to play a certain game more. And you know, maybe it, that will be boring after a while and I'll have to switch up like videos. Um, from one game like I already have but also if I play a game enough and I get good at it then it's they're, they're gonna be more entertaining like you you'd much rather watch a pro than a kid who sucks right that, that's pretty obvious unless they suck so bad that it's funny but even then I feel like you lose interest faster so yeah um another thing me and my friend a few of my friends are making like a TV show um, slash YouTube channel thing so uh, it's for school it's a school project I'm writing um, most of the script with help from a few other people for creative input like I'm writing the and then we, we're, we're filming and um, it's gonna be great we're filming like a TV show right now it's kind of like the office but called the school that way we can film it at school um, that's, <clears throat> that's pretty obvious, but the thing, um, about it, I think it's going to be really funny. I think it already is really funny, and we haven't, uh, recorded much of that, um, game. So, or game, I'm, I'm sorry, show, even the first episode. We've not even recorded that much of the first episode, so I think, uh, the script is coming together really nice, and I'll, we haven't made an official YouTube channel for that, but then also, me and Eric... Um, the Samurai God, who I always link in my description, um, and Money Man Chiching is in the, uh, Money Man 2000, sorry, is in the, the, the project, part of the project as well, who I also link in the description in every video, but, um, <clears throat> you're gonna see that me and the Samurai God, or Eric, are gonna be, uh, making a vlog of behind the scenes, and it hasn't quite been determined yet if that, is gonna be on the same channel or we're gonna make a second channel just for the behind the scenes vlogs but things are coming together um nothing's uh been made yet the youtube channel hasn't been made yet we're not probably gonna do that until we finish filming the first episode so um i will let you guys know when that is and then you can subscribe to that we got some good stuff going on over there so um yeah um in regards to what I was talking about earlier, the whole PC thing, I I think that it would be beneficial for everyone to make... Okay, just, just imagine this, right? Imagine a world where PC, PlayStation, Xbox, all, anything you want, Wii, I guess, if you want, all play on the same servers, but they all have the same performance, right? Every PC person says, PC's the best, PC's the best, and it is. But what if Xbox made an Xbox that was as good as a computer? And yes, that would cost more, but that's 
I mean, that would be fine by me if you get an Xbox that costs what a PC does when it performs like a PC does, right? That makes sense. And I don't like how all these platforms are kind of secluding themselves from others, right? Like, sure, I have the money. If I wanted to get a very good PC, I could. But why don't I? Because I can't play with any of my friends then. I can't play on a controller then. Like, these, these things should not still be a problem today. We need to adjust. We need to fix this problem. And, I, like, I'm obviously, I'm not, like, this isn't, like, a call to to arms or, or whatever. This is just, like, uh, what I think, right? So, like, I think the Xbox One X is a good start. It's up there. It's, it's better than previous Xboxes and Playstations and the best console overall ever made. But I think we can go a lot bigger, and I think that if we just, they just give them options, you know? Like Xbox said, their new consoles aren't going to be, like, completely um, reliant on you getting the next one every time they make it. Now, you get your preference. You can have the Slim, which is the same thing as the Xbox One, except it's just smaller, so... Right now, we have the Slim and the Xbox One X, which are different, but that's a good thing, right? So what if we did that a step higher and another step higher until Xboxes and Playstations are at the 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 level of a PC? And then, right, I, I don't think people would mind paying more, $1,000, $2,000 or an Xbox because it performs the same as a PC which and that's what a PC costs and like if that's not the solution to this problem then there should be a different one they they should make controllers more compatible they should you know there there are pl plenty of things that they can do that aren't being done and i feel like this would create more revenue overall for everybody so why don't they why don't they fix this? Why don't they take the initiative to, to do this? And, like, that's the other thing. Imagine eSports where everybody's up on the main stage. One guy's using an Xbox controller. One guy's on PC. It doesn't matter. They all pick their preference. And they play their own game, right? That would be cool. That would be awesome. That would be insane. I just... I, these are the things I think about. And I, I don't think this would be too difficult to achieve, but, like, someone like me can't make that big of an impact on this, the, this big of an industry. So, I mean, like, I really want this to be a, something that happens. I want, I want this to change, and, like, I'm not gonna, like, start a petition or whatever, but this is just me, you know, throwing my thoughts out there. Maybe some people agree, maybe they don't, but, like... I think this is something that should be talked about more. And even so, like, you see... Not, this is not necessarily for video games, but like... Say there's a sports team that you cheer for, right? Just a normal sports team or esports team. Um, you, you see someone on like a talk show talking about the problems of your team. And you completely agree, right? You're like, that is so true. And you get all excited, you share it on Facebook or whatever. You're like, people need to see this. You doing that, sharing that, yeah, you might like get other fans of that team to agree with you, but nothing's actually being done. And I don't want to get people excited about this topic if things are never going to change. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe I could, you know, try to get a hold of people, but like, I don't know, this is... um. It would be tough to change it, and I know, because they've each platform has just sprouted out further away from each other the further we've gone. So now it's gonna be harder than it than it would have been um to start in the in the beginning. So th this is like something that we should really think about and possibly, you know, talk to people about. We should try to fix these these problems. We should Definitely try to address this issue because I just think about this all the time. You're at an esports event, people are on the main stage, 
one guy has a keyboard, one guy has an Xbox controller, one guy has a PlayStation controller. And it doesn't matter. Like, back when I was younger, everybody had an Xbox. That, like, I don't know if that was true for other places, but pretty much everybody had an Xbox 360. If you had a PlayStation 3, you also had an Xbox 360. Maybe the PlayStation was just to play exclusive games, you know, whatever, but... Now everybody's even more separated because people went to the PS4 because um, I think public opinion said it was better than the Xbox One. Now the Xbox One X is out and, you know, now there's a huge divide. And I, I think as, as gamers, as a community, we shouldn't be divided in, in this way. We should be able to, you know come together and actually you know make some sort of a difference because obviously esports is sprouting out these things are you know different things are happening that are really affecting the world now and for us to you know actually turn someone's head you know make them notice us we can't be split we can't be trying to attack them from different angles we have to come together and use all of our you know I, I don't know the word like collectively bring people in draw people in to this industry because I think esports are are going to be are, are the thing of the future and um, obviously real sports will still exist and that's good because I like them you know that's why I'm so passionate about esports. I'm just as passionate about esports as I am about normal sports, if not more, because you know it's something that's never been done before. I'm in the middle of this, this growing. I'm the middle of this revolution. But back then, when sports were started, I wasn't born. So like, you know, like people should be able to be excited about watching the pros play, and people are like. Oh, watching people play video games, you know, like I've seen, you know, the Jimmy Kimmel thing. Um, you know, they're like, that's, that's stupid. But like, you watch the pros play so you can improve. And uh, like, it's competition. I love competition. I love winning. I love, I love, I just love competition. So like, we should bring this, yeah, um, th this whole issue and just like, come together and use everybody's different opinions as a different you know angle to not necessarily recruit but to get the attention of people who normally wouldn't like esports and you know you've seen that right like a lot of esports players parents like they of course they would never watch pro um gaming ever but they do because their kid plays it and now they actually enjoy it. They actually understand the game. They actually understand these things. So, you know, I think this could be closer than it is, you know, like we could actually make this improvement. So, you know, we'll have to see, but like if we actually tackle these issues, then like I think great things can happen. And I guess that's what I'm going to end this video on. I tried talking um, long enough th so that you guys could see um, at least the, the pretty good parts of uh, this this game um, but you know I, I rambled on for almost 20 minutes now so that's generally longer than uh, what my videos are mostly or, or generally so um, thank you guys for watching please um, like comment and subscribe um one more quick point um i kind of touched on this but didn't really um talk about it um when i'm talking about making my content like i um talked about way earlier way earlier this just came to my mind now um like another i guess pro to this whole situation so that I don't have to have a PC and an Xbox, you know, like, is that now I'm, like I said, having a new PC is going to open up new videos for me, then people won't have to go through this problem that I'm growing through, and then 
they'll be able to actually present good content, right? I present I present content, good content, or I try to present good content in like a small time frame. But if you can do that for a longer time frame, that's good. And if we're all together, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, like those types of things can really happen. And like good content can be, the bar can be raised to a whole nother level. So I guess that's what I'll end on. I don't want to keep talking about it too much. Like people who don't, like most of the people who watch my videos know me, but people who don't know me can also like my content, you know? That's that's the hard part is getting people who don't know you to watch your videos and think you're funny, think you're entertaining, that type of stuff. So I'll leave you with that thought. Um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. You and I've been best friends ever since I was a young kid. Everything we did, where's time went? Got a lot of years coming up ahead of us, and ever since we met, I knew we'd get somewhere. But the fact is, I ain't really, I ain't really know when. I don't really know how either, but I can feel the goosebumps. My skin writes in. I've been waiting for the moment. You and I can make it happen. A lot of people thinking we ain't gonna make it rapping. I ain't got a problem.